Hello students, today I am going to teach theorem 6.1. It is also known as basic proportionality theorems or Tails theorems. The statement of the theorem is if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. That means according to the statement, what is given? A line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, which means DE is a line parallel to one side of a triangle BC. So, if DE is parallel to BC, then we are going to prove that AD by DB equal AE by DC. So, D cut AB at D and E cut AB at AC at E. So, now D divide AB into AB by DB and E divide the line segment AC into AE by EC. So we are going to prove that AB by DB is equal to AE by EC. So to prove this, we need to construct DM perpendicular to AC and EM perpendicular to AB. Also, let us join BE and BC. Okay. To prove this, now we have area of triangle ABE equal half into AB into EM. This area of triangle we are taking by using area of triangle formula half into base into height. Now, in triangle ABE, we are taking AB as the base and EN is the height because EN is perpendicular to AB. Okay, again, similarly, now for triangle BDE, the base is taken as BD and where is the height of the triangle? Now the height of the triangle is drawn outside the triangle. That means EN is the perpendicular line to AB. So the height of BD also should come as EN. So area of triangle BDE is equal to half into DB into EN. And again, now since we have two perpendicular lines, we have an area of triangle ADE, DM is also height of the triangle ADE. So taking now, let me take DM as the height, AE becomes the best. So area of triangle ADE is equal to half into AE into DM. And again, now area of triangle DEC. So to take area of triangle DEC, now we are taking EC is the best, EC is the best, then the height comes outside the triangle, that means DM is perpendicular to AC, so DM is the height of the base EC. So half area of triangle DEC equal half into EC into DM. Now let us divide area of triangle ABE and area of triangle BDE. So now area of triangle ABE by area of triangle DBE is equal to here we have written the half into AB into EN and area of triangle BDE half into DB into EN. So let us cancel the common term. After canceling the common term, now we get AB by DB. Let us mark AB by DB as equation 1. Similarly, again, let us divide area of triangle ABE and area of triangle DEC. So, area of triangle ABE by area of triangle DEC is equal to, as we have proof above, area of triangle ABE equal to half into AE into DM. And area of triangle DEC equal half into EC into DM, which is equal to AE by DC. Let us mark this as equation 2. Now, in this two ratio, we have the numerator area of triangle ABE, area of triangle ABE. That means area of the same triangles are equal. And now let us compare area of triangle BDE and area of triangle DEC. So in this, these two triangles, triangle BDE and DEC are lying on the same base DE, lying on the same base DE and drawn between the same parallel line DE and BC. That means the area of these 
two triangles are equal. So let us mark this as equation three. Now by taking equation one, two, and three, now we can say that area of the ratio of triangle ABD by BD is equal to area of the ratio of triangle ABD by DEC. That means area of triangle ABD by area of triangle BD equal area of triangle ABD divided by area of triangle DEC. Then we have already proved that area of triangle ABD by area of triangle BD.